Hi everyone, it's Religious Sandboy here again, and today I am doing a, I thought about starting the letters with, going through the letters with Paul, um, one of the, the main way I got the idea of doing the letters doing a study on going through all the letters in order. I thought that would, part of the reason why I thought that would be interesting is um, I was talking to one of my, my other YouTube friends, um, my one of my YouTube Christian friends, um, uh, Asaias7, um, by the way, I highly recommend his channel. Um, there's going to be a link. He's currently doing a Bible study on his channel, going through the book of Matthew. Um, and also, he, if you're a Christian who's into anime, um, he also does these really cool um, anime from and also other topics from a Christian perspective videos. I, I highly recommend those also. Um, links to, to his channel and as well as the Matthew Bible study that he's doing now will be in the description. Um, he's, he's very nice. I, he's very, He's also very fun to talk to. And and yeah, if so I, I highly recommend his channel as well as all the channels that are on my friends and recommendation channel, which if you don't read the description you can find his channel there on that list of channels. Um as well as some other really cool people, such as like people I used to do the podcast with, as well as um, some other Christian, good Christian YouTube friends of mine, such as Abe, who's done, who's helped me with the um, Christmas Bible study videos we did a few last December, as well as some other people, such as RC apologists and and those guys. I highly recommend all those guys. Um, I'm, but in and since one of the passages we finished, like we kind of went over the ends of the the part the history covered in the Gospels. Um, I thought instead of trying to give cont, having to summarize and now and then, and then go back and read through Acts, I thought it would be a cool idea to do. I'm not quite sure how I'll do this. It, going from like talking. I'll be starting with Acts, but then I'm not sure if I will kind of go interweaving as, like, Paul travels places or not. I might do that. Um, but... Um, feel free to leave comments if if you think that would be a fun way of doing it. Because I'm thinking that might be a fun way of doing it, but also... I, it could also be cool just go through Acts and then go through all the letters in order. Um, so... With... Um, we're starting at the very very beginning of Acts. Um, there is some stuff about Easter that we'll 
will be covered in this. Um, but I think it would be cool to talk about just kind of take that as like a review of what we've been discussing leading up to and leading in the past three Bible studies. Um, so feel free to, we're going to be starting at the beginning of Acts, so feel free to pause the video right now and open your Bible to the book of Acts and like take this time to grab your Bible and open to the book of Acts if you want to start with us or if feel free to pause at any time if if you like are busy but then there's like feel like you're busy and but you later while watching the video feel like you want to read start reading along, um, that's okay too. Um, I just saw I'd give people time to pause before I started reading, but you can really pause it and grab Bibles at any time. Or like pull up a Bible app on your phone if you want to do that. Um, Whatever you feel like doing. Um, and if there's a specific translation you prefer, or just if there's, or if you want to let me know what, what translation you use when either, like, if you do read along, or if, or just whatever translations you prefer to use or you most commonly use. Guys, I'm... I'm curious. Um, I I usually use um, I usually use New King James. I am um, majority of well. Um, I don't know if I've used other translations for videos before. Oh, I have used King James a couple times back in the Revelations Bible study, but I did, um, but, like, that's a translation, New King James is a translation of this Bible, my pocket Bible, as well as my life application study Bible that I have on my headboard, as well as my waterproof Bible. Um, so, okay. Okay, now now I'm gonna start reading. We've it's already eight minutes in there. That's that's um the former account I made of the Opus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he has take he was taken up after he through the holy spirit had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen to him to whom he had presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proof, proofs, proofs being seen by them during four days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Um, the apostles are, um, are the teachers of the gospel um, that physically had seen the presence of God following his death um, and resurrection. Um, like, for example, the other 11 disciples, I say 11 disciples because 
um, Judas after um, after Jesus was crucified. Um, Judas had had hung himself and he died. Um, and also, there are. I think the only other apostle that wasn't one of the disciples, I think. I am pretty sure it's Paul. I don't know if James was. I think James probably is. But, um, yeah. I'm. Well, we're on page, I mean, on verse 4 now. So I'm going to start reading again. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from from me for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with with the Holy Spirit not not many days from now therefore when they had come together they asked him saying Lord will you will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel and he said to them it is not for you to know times for, or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and, and you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Um, after Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, and from this point forward, um, the Israelites, um, Israelites were in the Old Testament considered God's chosen people, and but um, kind of like how the ceremonial laws changed um, due to the New Testament, like some of the ceremonial laws changed, like not having to do um, the sacrifices as atone atonements for sin, because Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice for all the sins that would ever be commit were ever committed would ever and what would what sins would ever be committed so with yeah um i'm 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 going to try to go through this fast But if we run, if we run late, I'm I'm fine with that. Um, okay. Oh, we're on we're on verse nine now. I I lost my place for a second. Now, when he had spoken to these things, while they watched, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight, and while they looked steadfast, steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you? Stand gazing up into heaven, the same Jesus who was taken up 
from you into heaven will so come in like man manner as you saw him go into heaven. Um like that section is the people around Jesus, the heavenly hosts around Jesus asking the apostles why why like wondering why they looked at him differently when he ascended. So uh, I don't I'm not quite sure about the passage, but um I'm just kind of like asking that that type of stuff. I will try to research some of this more and, and talk about it. And, um, I I I forgot something that I wanted to bring up in a passage that I want to discuss in um the the previous passage where it talked about um, like his authority to know, his own authority to know of what's going to be in the future. Um, like this reminds me of a passage we talked about in Revelations where God had, um, had specifically told John um, the author of the book of the person who wrote down the book of revelations when um when Jesus appeared to him in his exile um and Jesus and God had told John what to what to say and what to leave out of the book of revelations which tells of this, this earth and this heaven fading away and and being replaced with the new heaven and the new earth. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go ahead and we're on verse 12 now. Then they returned to Jerusalem from from the mount called Al Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey, and when they had entered they went up in into the upper room where they were saying Peter, James, John Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matt, and Matthew, James, the son of, of Theus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, the son of the son of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, mother of Jesus, and, his, and with his brothers. I think the James that Judas is the son of, I think it's the same James that is, that Jesus is, Half brother, um, which who we talked about, in um, we gave some information about James in the Bible study on the book of James we did a few months ago. Um, that passage is a prayer meeting that took place following. Jesus, uh, Jesus' ascension and ascending up into heaven. Um, 
where the um where the current apostles and remaining disciples had met for prayer. Um, and now we're down to the last section. And in those days, Peter stood, oh, we're on verse 15. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples. All together, the number of the names was about 120. And said, men and brethren, This scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke to spoke before by the by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus, for he was numbered with us and obtained a part in his ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the wages of inequity and falling headlong, he burst open the middle and all his entrails pushed out and it became known to all those dwelling in Jerusalem so that the field is called in their own language a Kel Duma. This is field of blood, for it is written in the book of Psalms. Let his dwelling place be desolate, and let no one live in it, and let another take it, his office. Therefore, these men who accompanied us all the all the time that the world that the Lord Jesus went and in and out among us, beginning from the baptism, baptism, baptism. I'm sorry, I cannot talk right now. Um, the baptism of John. To the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with his, with us, his resurrection. And they proposed to Joseph called Barsabas. Who was, who, whose surname Justice, just, Justice, and Matthias, and they prayed and said, You, O Lord, who, who know the hearts of all, show which of these you have chosen to take part in this ministry. Try an apostleship of ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place, and they cast lots, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Um, this kind this reminds me of of kind of in the Old Testament where where people um like Moses in the desert would talk to God and and try to see who um and ask who is 
successor would be, and and God told him it would be Joshua. So when it came towards the end of Moses' life, he did one last sermon, and then Joshua was the person who, who was the spiritual leader for them, um, who was the physical leader for them. God was the spiritual leader for them. And And that, um, and just kind of seeing how that would work. That's also how, like, the kings were the first three kings, well, first two kings to be king of Israel and Judah would, would both be picked that way. Um, so like, just people showing, giving authority and showing trust in God that by having God fully in charge of making of the decisions of who would be called to do ministry and yeah, I I think with that being said, may God be with you, and I'll see you next time.